There are new developments in the conflict between Israel and Iran. Tonight, Israel's top general said his country will respond to Iran's missile and drone attacks. But as CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports, it's not clear what steps Israel will take. After Iran launched hundreds of drones, crews, and ballistic missiles towards Israel this weekend, the Israel Defense Forces is on standby. Iran will face the consequences for its actions. 99% of the strikes were deterred, according to the IDF, with help from its allies, including the U.S. Monday, President Biden met with Iraq's prime minister as the White House confirmed some of those Iranian missiles were launched from Iraq. We're committed to a ceasefire that will bring the hostages home and preventing conflict from spreading beyond what it already has. Biden says the U.S. will continue to provide defense support to Israel. But CBS News has learned that in a phone call Saturday night, the president urged Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to think carefully and strategically about the risks of escalation, saying if the IDF launched a reprisal strike on Iran, the U.S. would not participate. When the president says we're going to take our commitments to the region seriously, when we're going to help Israel defend itself, we got skin in the game and we proved the attack has prompted global calls for restraint. Monday, the NYPD arrested over two dozen people at pro-Palestinian demonstrations across New York City. The scene matched mass protests across the country, including in San Francisco, where demonstrators shut down the Golden Gate Bridge for five hours, calling for an end to the war in Gaza. Meanwhile, Israel continues to launch airstrikes on the southern Gaza city of Rafah, ahead of an expected ground invasion. The U.S. has objected to an invasion of the city because more than one million refugees are sheltering there. Retired two-star general Nimrod Sheffer says he believes Netanyahu has a vested interest in prolonging the war in Gaza, as well as escalating the conflict with Iran in order to stay in power. So if you ask me if Netanyahu is, is a risk to the state of Israel, my opinion is yes.